I'm going to put my glasses on so I can watch this because my eyes get a bit gritty at this age and also I get a little bit more paranoid, especially online when I'm playing someone, but I'm not talking about my opponent here, but that happens a lot for me at this age. I'd probably am, or I'm probably getting told to start to consider doing over the board stuff instead of online because you just can't see your opponent and what your opponent is up to. Not that I ever cheat and I don't because I just don't cheat. I don't see the point in it, but it happens a lot. So I'm actually now saying earlier on, not this game, I'm actually now saying earlier on to Lee Chess or Chess.com, check the style of the player as well. Not just their moves, but their style and their overall sort of play in games and their speed as well. I know there's lots of good chess players out there, but anyway, this is a really good game. I want to show you this game. I think it's a really, really good game and I might even commentate over my commentations after that in CapCut. Thank you very much for watching and here we go. This is this game that is occurring here for you right now, okay? So I'm gonna go on slow-mo. I got my cup of coffee, which happens to be my second coffee. I like slow-mo, it's a lot better than fast-mo. So we can just watch this game and I can comment uh, about it. And I wish for you to make your comments too. And you can say what you think of the gameplay and what I've just said. Uh, because I said a long, long time ago, which is incorrect, that a player plays their personality. They play the way their personality is. So if they're a bit of a um, you know, unable to make decisions quickly and all that sort of thing. They won't play very fast in blitz chess. So they'll lose a lot of times and all that sort of stuff. And if they're, you know, if their personality is such, it'll be represented on the board as well. Like they'll hesitate in making a Misha move, if you get what I mean. So here we go. So that's, it just doesn't have to be computer moves that they play, I think. So if I was at the top of uh, Lee Chess for determining who's cheating and who isn't, then I would be doing something like that, you know? I'd be doing something like that. I'd be checking, well, what's this person usually play like? Especially when they're over the board. And, or when we know that there's no chance of cheating or anything like that. So cheating is a big subject in the world now and Magnus is talking about that chess hasn't got much longer to live um, given this information. So I play 95 says so something about fantasy chess. I don't know what that means but there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new. So I prefer to give a long sometimes instead of just a short. So here my opponent has now stopped his development of his bishop on c8 and I'm thinking develop, 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 develop. You know, one of my principles or one of everyone's principles in the opening. And so I'm sort of developing. I'm trying to go further here, but my opponent um, did play really well, but don't worry, I won this game, so I didn't complain. That's my coffee. So, but my opponent played quite well here, and I was quite pleased with the gameplay. Maybe I'm just getting old, you know, maybe I'm just getting old. So, I flicked my rook to f4, I feel it's quite comfortable there. Long term, though, uh, it wouldn't be a very good thing to have. Now I've rid myself of the, my light squared, beautiful, wonderful bishop. And now I'm going to set it about trying to figure out what to do next. I could have gone knight c4, knight d6, I think, and that probably would have been better. 
uh, but I usually, you know me, elect to move my pawns all over the board. So I'm playing a little bit um, kind of uh, evading pawn catches to think, well, I'm just going to slice through the centre with these beautiful pawns of mine, which they're better than anyone else's pawns in the world. But like, I'm not sure how to go about this because I do think my opponent played quite well. I could probably play just rook a f1 here. I play g3 and thereabouts I offer my opponent the exchange for knight. And uh, now I've got this beautiful cluster of pawns, but I'm sitting there going, that's going to probably uh, blunder soon, especially when I get into certain positions. That's probably going to end up blundering, especially when we get to knight d5, bishop d5. Here, after bishop d5 and queen d5, I think that it's primo for a blunder. I'm thinking, I'm waiting for black's blunder now. Not my blunder, black's blunder. But black doesn't blunder. C5 is probably a blunder. I'm probably blundering myself. G3, I didn't even see that move on the board. And I thought, what did my opponent just play? Oh, G3. Oh, I better make sure I don't uh, miss playing something against that move. So I play E6. It looks all on now. Probably is. Probably really, really good for white. E7. Oh, queen e5. Maybe e7. And I'm thinking, what do I do? Oh, my e6 pawn, I gotta go e7. So this looks quite good, but my opponent does play quite well. So maybe I'm just having to realize that people play good chess, you know? <laughs> And that's it. And as said, I'm not mentioning that about my opponent that they're doing anything untoward here. Now we go into a, a number of checks. Check. One. Two. We'll see if it's our record yet. What do you reckon? Three. Three checks. Four checks. Five checks. Wow, it's our record almost. Six checks. Seven checks. It's almost our record. <laughs> oh God. Eight checks. <laughs> we got ten. <laughs> Nine checks. Boy, my opponent would not like this. He can checks! Yes! Wow, that was fantastic. My opponent uh, lost on time, as you can see. Hope you enjoyed this session. All the best with your chest, no matter where it's at. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on The Muppet Show. This is going to go on a short for the 10 checks in a row. Bye. Hello, I'm Kiwi Kia. I'm here to teach you chess. The first move is D4 for white. And if you want to play black, don't bother, I'm too good. <laughs> and here's some of my friends, Mr. Bunny, 
Hello, how are you today, Mr. Bunny? <laughs> and what do you think of your cousin, Mr. Kiwi Kia? Hey, no 